Is your countertop too thick to install your faucet? Well, if so, stay tuned because in this video, I'm going to show you how to install a faucet shank extension, which in most cases will solve your issue. Coming up next. What's going on guys? Kendall here for Reynolds for Pros and Joe's helping you simplify the renovation and remodeling process. On this channel, we do hands-on product tool and gear reviews, as well as renovation and repair tip and strategy videos like this one. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Today, I'm gonna to be covering a topic that is becoming increasingly popular, and that is what to do when your countertop is too thick to install your faucet. Now, this is a problem that has become more prevalent in modern times because when people do remodels and renovations, a lot of times we're going back with stones and a lot of times your granite and a lot of times your quartz is going to be a thicker profile than a standard countertop and when this happens sometimes the faucets that people select do not extend far enough through the countertop to be able to make the connection to the water line to have a watertight seal so that you can begin to use your faucet again so in this situation we have to use a separate piece of plumbing in order to make the connection work. Now the good news is I've already done some legwork for you. As a licensed general contractor, I run into this problem on a regular basis. What I can tell you is that most of your big box stores, including orange and blue, do not sell these components in stock in the stores, which means you have to go online to find it. And I've taken the liberty of including the link to the product that I'm gonna be using in the description box below. I've done the research on it, and from my findings, this is the product that has the most consistent and highest ratings for this type of situation. So without any further ado, I would like to show you the faucet shank extension, okay? And it comes in a bag just like this, just like you see it online. And let me show you what comes inside of this package before we get started. A lot of jingling and jangling in there. So you get two of these extensions, you get two of these rings like this. All this is brass, by the way, not plastic. Some of the ones you'll find online are plastic. Then you have another large washer ring. And then you have the rubber washer rings. Now you may not end up using all these components, but I'm just including what's in the package so that you know before you order or move forward with your decision. So back to the faucet. So when the countertop is too thick, you'll find that it will not extend far enough through the countertop on the bottom side to be able to make your water line connection. So this is one of your water lines here. And you typically you're just going to screw this up on here and add a little Teflon tape before you do that, obviously. And then this is your connection. You can turn your water back on and you're good to go. However, in this scenario, when your countertop is too thick, even if you have a bit of this that's sticking through the bottom side of the countertop, it's not enough to make a solid watertight connection. And this is where you end up using a faucet shank extension to remedy the problem. So let me show you how this works. You take your washer and place it inside here if necessary, because every installation is not gonna require this. Okay, and so you push your washer all the way down in here. So before we jump to the next step, I always like to use plumber's tape uh, before I make any type of watertight connections. So on a faucet like this, I take mine and I want to make sure that I install my threading in the same direction that my stem extension or shank extension is going to have to be installed. So I want to make sure that I do that. First, and the reason why I do that is to make sure that when I install my extension here, that it doesn't start to unwind and unravel the tape. So if you put the tape on in the same direction, you're going with the flow of the threading. So we tighten it on like this. When you do this at home, you're going to be using your pliers or a wrench to make sure that you've got it very tight on here. I'm not going to do that because we're just demonstrating. So now I'm going to take the time and do the other side here quickly. You always want to make sure that you do do both. So I'm going to wrap both of them up like this. Okay. 
and got the other side here. Okay, so same thing on this side. You want to tighten it down with a wrench or a pair of pliers. Just make sure that you've got a, a good connection there before we move on to the next step. Now, the next piece of this deals with how you're going to connect this to your faucet to be able to make sure that it's tight on there, right? So if you look inside of your packaging, nine times out of 10, you've got some type of plate or something like this that's designed to go here underneath the underside of the faucet to help stabilize it and to keep gunk and everything and water from, from getting in between the faucet and the countertop and getting down and through the, um, the holes there into your cabinet or onto your floor if you've got a pedestal sink or something like that. So you wanna go ahead and put this on now. Now, another connection that you typically would make here is if you were not using a shank extension, when this faucet sits inside of the holes on the countertop, you typically use a ring like this, which is threaded, and it threads up onto the bottom here of this shank. And that's what gives you the tension on it to make, to make sure that the faucet doesn't move around in the holes that it's designed for. So as you can see, that's not gonna work now because we now have this female piece here that fits up on top of the male and it's wider. So we can't fit this on here anymore. And so we, now we can't necessarily get a tight fit here. So that's why you install these rings here. And the ring is gonna slide up over the extension here. You see that it's big enough to, to fit over the extension. And the thing that it's doing is you're gonna install that first then you're going to take this ring here and this ring fits over as well and i know it looks kind of weird like this because i don't have it in a countertop but you're going to put these two pieces on like this in this order and what that is allowing you to do is this is going to fit jam up underneath the countertop the underside and then this is going to be on the underside of that to be able to create a spacer um, around the top of the female so that you can make a connection there. So once you have this on, now you can use your piece that you were gonna use regularly. So you're just gonna screw this up on the bottom and then you're gonna tighten it up. And this is going to give you a snug fit, okay? So I'm gonna put these things on here and it's gonna look kind of odd, but I'm just gonna put them on there for argument's sake. So we go ahead and screw these, this on here like this. Obviously you have your countertop in here. I'm just gonna show you how all these pieces fit together so that you know what to do when you get yours. And so I've got both of these on here now. Okay. So that means that now, when I lower that down, you can see that I can continue to, to, to tighten this up on here and you can see that it's rising it's rising up okay and so your countertop would fit right here in between these two your countertop would fit right here and this is going to give you a tight connection because this ring sits on top of this washer here so it's a good connection and it's firm and you shouldn't have any issues with your faucet moving so once you have these pieces installed the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to thread your bottom side of your shank extension with your plumber's tape. I'm gonna step back so you can see me and I can kind of work quickly. Let me screw this on a little bit further so we can get higher up here on here so you can see that. Remember, you always wanna go in the same direction that you're going to be screwing your your water connection line onto. And if you can't remember or you aren't sure, just stop before you use any tape and put your water line connection on there. And that's gonna let you know immediately which way you need to do it. So we've got our tape on there on both sides like that. And then we're gonna take our water line connections here and we just screw that down on there like so. Uh, when you do this at home, you're gonna be using your pliers or your wrench to make sure that you've got it tightened down. I'm just going to hand tighten here for demonstration purposes, of course. So now we've got everything set up here. And so this is going to be the solution to 
your thick countertop. So in most situations, this is gonna solve your problem and you can proceed with finishing out your project. So as always, hopefully you found this video informative. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember that the link to this exact faucet shake extension set is in the description box below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.